All right, ladies and gents, we're rolling right back into another one. This is 3D3, how original. 3D3 is going to look like this, okay? So if you're looking at your notebook, you'll see this is 3D3. If we draw our front profile and then we join that and extrude it back, it's going to be a full solid, and we're going to have to do another profile that we extrude down and subtract away, and we'll have to do another profile up here and subtract away. That's not the only way to do it. You could also draw the top view and extrude this box and this box up by one and extrude the base down by one. I don't really like doing it that way, but you can do it that way if you'd like. I'm going to do it uh, the way that I like. Okay, so here we go. This is what the notebook looks like as far as the dimensions go. Again, remember, you do not have to create this part. No title block version, just the 3D model. But use this to figure out what the size is. 6 by 2, the depth is 3. Each one of these is 1. It says use a chamfer distance of 1 fourth. Okay, so if you're doing it in the profile in the top, you can use chamfer and you can do distance and you could do 1 fourth, 1 fourth, enter and make your chamfers. If you're doing it later on when it's already a 3D model, it's going to be chamfer edge. So there is a difference there. Okay, so new drawing. I'm going to start with the front face. The front face using lines is 2, 6, 1, 3, 1, and then close. Okay, so we've got this already done. I'm going to kind of buzz through this faster. There's not really as much to talk about as we get through these models. Join these together. There should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it went six objects converted to one polyline. That's good. I'm now going to go back to the top view. That's my default view. And I'm going to click bottom right corner. That's my default 3D view. I have to change my toolbar again. Go down to the gear. Go to 3D basics. Get used to changing back and forth in those. Extrude. Click the model that you want to extrude and hit enter. And how far back you want to go. Negative three. So now we've got this part. We're not quite there yet. We have two more profiles to go. One profile is going to be in here, one, two, three, four. In order to get these lines right here, I'm going to put a line on this edge, and then I'm going to offset it across twice, one and one. Same exact thing goes here. I'm going to put a line here, and I'm going to go one and one, and I'm going to put a line here, and I'm going to go two. Okay, so here we go. Make sure you're snapping to these corners. Make sure that you're in a 3D view. If I'm looking down at the top of this and I think, well, okay, I'm going to put a line here like this, not every time will it go where you think it's going to go. Sometimes it will go correctly. Sometimes it'll go on a diagonal like that. Sometimes it'll be at the bottom by accident. Okay, so do it in a 3D view. So here we go, line. We're going from there to there. The last thing that I clicked here was top, so I am still on the top view, and the way you can tell that is because the grid is underneath the model. If you're not sure though, still go back to top, and then hit bottom right, and you can do your uh, offsets in this view if you'd like, it's up to you. Sometimes I do them in the top, sometimes I do them in the 3D view, just watch where they go and make sure they're going where they're supposed to. Offset, 1, take this and go 1, 1. Now you'll see this starts to get a little confusing here because you've got some back lines and forward lines and you can't really tell what's what. Also, don't forget to erase the original line. you got to get that line out of there. So now I'm going to do a little orbit. Hold down shift and hold down the clicker on the mouse or the scroller. And just by doing that a little bit, you can now see the difference between that back corner and from the lines I just made. Okay. From the lines I just made, if I take them and close the ends with two more lines, I now have four pieces, one, two, three, four. Join those together. Those are going to be extruded down. This surface right here is one, so I go negative one. Now I have a model within a model. Subtract. What do I want to subtract from the big model? Enter. What do I want to subtract? Small model. Enter. And you can see right there in the 3D view that it got cut out. You could also check that on conceptual. All good. Back to 2D wireframe back to the top, going to reset my view, and now I'm going for the other one. A little bit more complicated, but right, right, you know, just about the same thing. So I put a line there, I put a line here. Offset, two. This one's going to go two that way. This one's going to go one and one. Again, this is a little confusing right now. Don't forget to erase the original lines and try to do a little bit of an orbit so you can see the difference. I can now trim this, 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 and this. 
it will not trim at lines that are not on that surface. So it didn't even, it, it just totally ignored this line because that line is underneath that surface. So you have to kind of, it's a little bit of a mind trick. You got to keep it so it doesn't flip inside out in your brain. Okay. So now I've got one, two, three. I could go to the top view or, or even in this view and I could do a chamfer here, a 2D chamfer, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you the other way. I'm going to draw a line there to close. One, two, three, four. You have to close every profile that you draw. You can't have anything that's open. Not three sides, four. Okay. So one, two, three, four, join. Four objects converted to one polyline. This one here gets extruded down, negative one. It gets subtracted. What do I want to subtract from? Enter. What do I want to subtract? Enter. And then you're going to do chamfer edge. That's your 3D chamfer. D for distance. First one is one fourth. Second one is one fourth. And you just click these edges. One, two. One enter shows you what it's going to look like. Second one shows you uh, the final copy. Okay. Now I, I did another orbit here. So don't print it like this. Always go back to the top and then the bottom right corner. That's resetting your view. You then go to hidden. You can check it on conceptual first if you want. Then you go to hidden for printing. You put your line weights on there. You put your name on the paper and you print it out using window and not extents. And that's it. 3D3 is done. All right. Thank you for watching.